Hello and welcome back. This is part 4 of the chess with react. In this part we are going to use two of the react hooks, use reducer and use context in order to store the data in one place and provide it to different components. The react context provides the data to the components no matter where they are in the component strip so we don't need to you know just pass along the props from component to component and we use the reducer to store the data so these two go hand in hand first we need to create our context so I would go here create a context folder and in the context we will only have one context so context.js to use context we need to have three steps first create it then provide it and three is use it here we're going to create it so we would have uh, the create context and the use context we need these two to be defined here then we would have a component this will be a wrapper component which will provide the context to the other components like so this is the default export for us and we will have another function that we export and that is the use app context which is basically only returns the use context with the app context so we are not done with creating our context we need to provide it in order to provide it I would go to my app.js which is the top level in my component tree and I will provide it here app context like so and then the provider of that app context and we can have a initial value this is the value that we will get from the reducer but for now we leave it as a blank object and uh, this should be like so and let me clean it a little bit better mm -hmm. and I need to close the parentheses here as well so if I go back here and refresh we are having the context provider here with the value which is an empty object okay so we have created and we have provided it and later we are going to use it but not now later on okay now I need to uh, provide the data to the context so that it can provide it to the app that is uh, done by the reducer reducer is basically a pure function that contains the logic and the calculation that needs to be performed on the state and by state I mean the app state these uh, functions usually accept an action and perform on that action so let's go and write it so it might get more clear uh, we would have a reducer folder here and in this reducer we have a reducer function reducer is as I said just a pure function that takes two different parameters one is the state or the state of the reducer in this case is the state of our app I will write it later on but for now let's think it's a simple state and some action that will be uh, sent here and the reducer will act on this action usually is in two parts one is payload and one is the type based on the type and the payload we would change the state We usually say switch on action dot type 
and based on the values that action the type gets it would uh, change the state and return the state but for now let's just return the state without any change so this is the basically our uh, initial reducer that we can use let's go to the app so we can use it in order to use the reducer we need to um, initialize it with two values one is the reducer which is this file and the other one is the initial value which for now is a just a empty object and it will spit out two things that we can deconstruct here one is the let's say app state we call it app state the final value that it will spit out and the other one is the dispatch and we use the dispatch to uh, send the actions to the reducer then I would just put them in one object like so provider mm, state is the app state and the dispatch later on when I want to use them I can uh, deconstruct this as well you can use it you can use these two but I think this is much more uh, readable and we will uh, provide it here so if I go back if I go here you can see the I have the value which is a app state and something like this if I say for example x is 20 you will see that context that provider has the app state with this value and a dispatch function but what is this initial state this initial state for now can be this value that we have in the components in the pieces the thing that we have stored in the state now should go to the uh, reducer and we should read from that in other words we should consume that data here so let's first write the initial state and then we will provide it to the pieces so that it can consume it uh, here I will have a constant dot js constant this for now has just the object that will be used uh, here instead of this and let's say that this is a position which is the new position that we have uh, create position like so and it will call this function and provide a position here let's do it like this and let's go one step forward and say whose turn is it so turn is white so white should begin the mm, game now if I go to my app I can say instead of this give me the uh, what was it called in it game state in it game state and if I go here and here I can see that my app state is a position and the turn is white now we could use this in the pieces and so that it can consume the position and let's start consuming we say that give us the app state and the dispatch function so that we could change the data and we would use the use app context that we defined here uh, now we can remove this uh, set state and instead use the app state so current position is the app state dot 
position and then we can use this instead of uh, state so here and here and here and uh, here and we don't want to do the set state anymore we would just like to dispatch a function so that the update happens in the reducer so uh, I would call my function uh, make new move and we will give the new position to it as we had before but of course I need to define this function so let's go to the uh, reducer here define a folder called actions and here we have a file called move.js the reason that I'm having different actions is because that uh, I want them to be clear so some of the actions are based on the move some are for the game and some for other so I want them to be separate from each other this action will be very simple make new move it will take uh, the thing that we had here new position like so and then it would return an object that can be picked up by the reducer so return type is let's say a new move and it's common to write the type in capital letters and the payload is just the new position new position like so and uh, if we go to the reducer now we need to get that action and perform on that so uh, the only thing that I need to do is case if the action is new move then here I can return uh, whatever the state was and say that the position position is the action dot payload dot uh, new position like so and it needs a default so that it's happy and in default we just return the state for now and uh, here I don't want to have this so if I get the new move I would have the state as it was and then add the position which is the new position that we're giving it so let's go back here let's go back here and here if I do this being lazy the this will be added let's go here check the pieces it's getting a position from the redux and if I move it you can see that the position has changed and if I move more the more things happen here in the redux okay cool uh, while here let's do a uh, another change on the uh, on the reducer so not only I want to change the position but I also want to change the turn so here I can say uh, from state and uh, the turn should be if turn is white then blue otherwise white and I can return the turn as well so if I go back reload open the pieces and uh, we could see it's white turn we move it's black turn moves white turn black turn and so on so while here we can save the positions as we move along so that we can do the take back and return to the previous position 
so in order to do that let's say we grab the position from state as well and say that uh, position is whatever it was and the new position so we are basically adding the position to the list of positions that we have here and then in the end we return the position as well okay so this is cool let's go to the beginning where we define the um, game state and say that the first position is an array of only one item like so and here in the pieces we just say that the current position is app dot position at app state dot position dot length minus one only give me the last one we get into an error no doesn't look like it so if I move and move and go to the context value and uh, app state I can see that I have three different position the beginning position which is like this and position after move one which is one palm has moved twice and the uh, next position which is a black palm that has been moved twice okay this is basically done the only thing that I want to do is here I need to define a types or action types and define the types of the actions here I would say that const action uh, types and this is basically an object with values that are the same so for example new move is new move this is the convention and I will uh, export this there will be more actions as we go along and then here in the let's save it let's go to the action that we had move action instead of saying type new move we can say that action types dot new move and then this way we have less bugs and also in the reducer instead of saying new move you can say that these action types dot and as you can see VS code gives us the options that we have new move like so and let's save go back here refresh and see if it works the same way yes cool checking the pieces here and uh, we have the app state the position and six position has been reached and it's black turn cool thank you for watching and see you in the next video